Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be talking about custom layouts in Unity and to be able to change the editor to the way that you want it to be or to make yourself more efficient and show you what yours would look like to begin with and how you can customize it. So it's maybe similar to what I have depending on how you like to work. So Unity, when you open it, usually looks something like this by default. And for me personally, I don't really like it. And you've got a lot of different controls and customization that you can select different elements and be able to move them around, dock them in different places, depending on what you choose to use on any given time. And you can also go to window and select any of the windows from the general, the rendering, the animation, the 2D and whatnot. And you can dock these if you use these more often. Now it's good to always keep your hierarchy on the left hand side because this is a long list of everything that exists in the current scene that you're in. I usually like to dock my console which would bring errors up if you're doing programming or anything like that and I keep that to my left in line with my hierarchy usually. Your project tab is everything that you've imported into Unity to use across any different scene that you have and it's usually in a two column layout which for me personally I don't like. A lot of people like this layout but you can press these three dots and just set it to a one column layout and I prefer just to see things in a list here so I can just quickly look and I don't need to see images. What I also like to do is usually it'll have you see in your game tab up at the top. Now I like to grab my game tab, bring it down and dock it at the bottom where I would have had the two column layout and I will drag this along and move it up. It's usually set by free aspect and you'll want to give it a specific resolution if you have this built into whatever version you have and say I can set it by default to 1920 by 1080 and you can see that I will always have an example of I can be working in here and I can see exactly what my game view looks like at a glance. Always keep your inspector open on this side just because this is if you select anything that you want to edit you'll be able to always have it available. There's a few things that you can add which are quite useful that which you'll often use is you can go rendering and lighting settings and lighting settings is a pop out and it's good to keep it docked to the right hand side by the inspector because the lighting tab isn't always as relevant but it's a long list of items so it might be good. And one other probably important thing is animation and animation and here's the animation tab and I usually like to dock this just at the bottom until I need to use it and you can just then dock it along the top here within your scene view when you need to do an animation. Another example is you could take your hierarchy and dock this all the way to the left hand side like so and you could leave your console next to the project and you would get a full list going all the way down if you have a lot of things in your hierarchy. So it's really up to you with how you want to work. If you want to save your particular preset which you've created, you can go to the top here, which is usually your layout and it'll be on most likely default. You can save a new layout, which can be my custom layout. You can press save and say you load up Unity for another time and it's turned to default for some reason, you can just click the drop down and go to my custom layout once again and you can see that it's saved exactly as we had it before. So I hope this helps you out and if you've got any suggestions on how you like to work I'd be interested to know. Come and support me on Patreon if you like the channel because it will really help me out and you can get access to scripts, projects and so much more. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unistore and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.